And the Washington Post reports a Catholic priest and former Klansman never paid court-ordered damages for his racist crimes in the 1970s. Barbara and Philip Butler say that William Aitchison also never apologized for placing a massive burning cross outside their Maryland home back in 1977. Aitchison wrote in an op-ed on Monday about his previous Klan affiliation. The 62-year-old priest is taking a leave of absence. Errol Barnett is outside Aitchison's parish in Fairfax, Virginia, with the evolving explanation for his confession. Errol, good morning. Good morning. Aitchison was serving here at this Catholic church up until Monday. That's when he revealed his former membership in the KKK, explaining that events in Charlottesville, just a few hours' drive from here, prompted him to say he's sorry. But the Diocese of Arlington says actually an inquiry by a freelance journalist really prompted the revelation. Well, I said, I said that he was a priest. We, I don't, I didn't know what to say. Philip and Barbara Butler are reliving that moment 40 years ago when they discovered a cross seven feet tall burning on their front lawn. I went to the door and, and, I, and I saw it and it was just like, wow, you know, where did this come from? It came from William Aitchison. In an essay published Monday, the 62-year-old Catholic priest confessed to being a leader of the KKK in his early 20s. My actions were despicable, he wrote. While 40 years have passed, I must say this, I'm sorry. It has been years and we have never heard one word or anything. And then all of a sudden, it's really just like a shock. In a statement, the Diocese of Arlington said there have been no accusations of racism or bigotry against Friar Aitchison throughout his time in the diocese. The diocese reportedly knew of Aitchison's history, and it was widely reported by the media. He was sentenced to jail time for mailing threatening letters to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s widow, Coretta Scott King, and for several cross burnings, including at the butler's home. But when it came time to pay the family $26,000 in damages, Aitchison disappeared. In 1982, a front-page story published by the Washington Post characterized the butler's agony, prompting President and Mrs. Reagan to visit the family at their Maryland home that same afternoon. I simply told them what a pleasure it was to come and be able to visit them here and how much I regretted any unpleasantness that they may have had because there shouldn't be any place in our country for that sort of thing. We are all American. We're supposed to be, so why pick on one and not the other? Decades later, the butlers are questioning the sincerity of Aitchison's public confession. We really need a closure, you know. I will never, ever forget that. We didn't deserve this. No one deserves this. Yeah. Now, the butlers not only want an in-person apology, but they want Aitchison to disclose any other members of the KKK who may have helped him. The Diocese of Arlington says he is open to meeting with the family privately. Keep in mind, he still owes them $26,000. The diocese says it is working with Aitchison to make restitution. Bill. Carol, thank you. It Interesting. Is a, it is a little jarring, though, to hear a priest and a Klansman in the same sentence. Right. right. Yeah. It takes you a minute to wrap your brain around. Those two ideas that. seem to clash, or mm -hmm. should.